What's going on guys, it is Mason of Delphine here today talking about the Wii U and Nintendo Switch situation. I'm pretty sure it's evident that everybody's like, you know, Nintendo keeps coming out with these Switch games, that's great. But a lot of them are Wii U ports. I just wanted to touch on this because this is something that a lot of people have mixed opinions about. I just think it's an interesting topic because with the whole Wii U failure and the Switch success situation going on there, it's kind of just, where do the games go? You know what I mean? I just wanted to give my two cents because I thought it was an interesting topic that I thought about the other day, kind of long and hard about, honestly. So let's just rewind. November 18th, 2012 is when the Wii U launched in the US. And it's crazy to think it's almost six years ago. And I mean, time flies. Yes, they killed the Wii U. After Breath of the Wild was out, they're like, bam, a nail in the coffin, it's good to go. But the thing is, is legacy is still kind of lived on in ways that, you know, aren't really the most apparent. I mean, obviously, it has the same concept as the Switch did. You know, the Switch is what people wanted the Wii U to be, I feel like. And with that came the games that everybody loves so much. But the thing is, the Wii U didn't really go the extra mile that they're putting in with the Switch because it just wasn't doing what they wanted it to. It wasn't selling well. It wasn't doing, you know, the numbers that Nintendo was expecting or hoping for. And I'm sure as a company, that's very discouraging. But what would you do in that situation? Think about it. If you have all these games that are, you know... The Wii U had a lot of great first party, don't get me wrong. But then they had their failures like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, uh, Mario Party 10, you know, just eh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. <laughs> you know, it was just a bad time overall uh, with those three games in particular because they never really put their whole heart into it. And I think that really hurt them in the end, like through their consumer purchases, through their sales and them themselves. It kind of hurt them uh, because it gave them a bad image of what now, Nintendo's turning into only kids, you need to buy Amiibo for this game, Amiibo Festival, obviously. Um, or, you know, everything just had its own little critique that everybody wanted to give their input for. And that's okay, it's good to have opinions. But I think for this, it's like, I've seen people, like, irate about the Wii U having its games being ported to the Switch. Now, the thing's been out for almost a year, so let's talk about this. In 10 months so far, 11 at this point maybe, uh, what have we seen? We've seen a disclaimer. I have received a couple of these products by Nintendo. I have to say that. Anyway, moving forward. In March, we had Breath of the Wild, which launched with the Wii U as well. Kind of the ending point for that system. But it was originally a Wii U game, got ported to the Switch. Of course, it did better on the Switch. The attachment rate was insane, but that's, you know, that's beside the point. There's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In April, they launched Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on April 28th in the US. They had Splatoon 2, which isn't even Splatoon 1 on Wii U, but it's very, very similar in almost every way. Maybe a few new modes, you know, bigger adventure mode, all that kind of stuff. But overall, it was a very, very similar concept because it's straight, it's like, a, it's a franchise now. They're gonna make it a sequel, that's fine. This has Mario Kart, the Wii U had Splatoon, we're gonna put Splatoon on the Switch too. That makes sense, I agree with that. But then, let's see. There was ARMS, that was completely new. And then they recently announced that Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is going to be ported to the Switch, as well as Hyrule Warriors, I don't even know the subtitle, like Platinum Edition or something like that. Hyrule Warriors in particular uh, was on 3DS as well. And that's not like these other games. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was not on 3DS or the regular one, or regular Mario Kart, you know. Um, they didn't have Mario Kart 8 on that. They did not have Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze on 3DS. They had Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, but that's not the same thing. It's like a sequel. So, with all these games on the Switch, not only is it giving them more sales, but at the same time, it's like, if you were a video game company, hear me out for a second, and your console failed, selling around 13 million units worldwide, not many people, you know, had a Wii U, you know, it's just kind of discouraging as a company. But if you have all these banger titles, what? Why would you not do something with those? Nintendo is smart for doing this, I think. Um, I just think it's crazy if, that people don't agree with it. I get it. A lot of us that watch my channel specifically, too, we've all had a Wii U. You know, I have mine collecting dust right now, if I'm being honest. And, you know, it is what it is. But I enjoyed the system. I enjoyed what I got out of it. And if I can relive those games plus some extra features, why not? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe had the new battle mode, and that was great. And they, the developers even said that... Um, if the game did well enough, they would consider doing more DLC. So we might even have that to look forward to. And we have Hyrule Warriors with all the content, maybe plus some, you never know. It's just like, 
they're doing what a company should do, I feel like. And I don't want to look at it as recycling games because they are adding more content to them. Like Funky Kong and Tropical Freeze, I know it's not that big of an addition, but it is still kind of something to, oh, hey, you know, that wasn't like that in the last one. Maybe I should check it out again, which I'm definitely doing. And along with those, you have the other upcoming titles like Metroid Prime 4, Kirby Star Allies, Yoshi, and just all these other ones that are, haven't even been announced yet. E3 is probably going to be loaded again. And Nintendo has their mind in the right track, I feel like. Um, I just wanted to touch on that. I feel like it's a smart decision on their part. Porting Wii U games to the Switch, you know, they can make their money back and more people can enjoy them because not many people had the option to do that not having a Wii U. But I guess that's it. Let me know what you think though. Do you think it was a good idea for Nintendo to start porting all their Wii U games, all the best ones they have practically, down to the Switch? Do you think they're going to get 3D World on the Switch? Or even like, what is it, Amiibo Festival 2, maybe? No. Don't do that, Nintendo. But you get what I mean. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.